Welcome to Sofic 2016 in Tampa, Florida. I'm here today to introduce you to the R6SS ground surveillance radar. We're introducing at the show here. So here it's on its pan and tilt. It has world-class size, weight, and power. Measuring roughly 14 inches square by four inches deep, weighing in at 10 kilograms or approximately 22 pounds, and seeing targets out past six kilometers, you will not find anything else on the market like it. This is a man portable solution, and so we sell it also as a standalone radar, as a panel, or with a pan and tilt, or with the entire kit, which makes it a complete man portable solution. We have another R6SS in the backpack to show you how easy it is to transport. It's a two backpack solution, each backpack carrying less than 40 pounds. So there's the R6 as a panel. The backpack solution does include the pan and tilt for that two backpack solution under 40 pounds for each pack. If you do not want the pan and tilt, that saves you about another 20 pounds or 10 kilograms. So sometimes customers will only want to put it and then they can just manually point it at the direction of uh, oncoming threats. The backpack kit also includes two BB2590 batteries. This will power the solution for approximately six hours. If you would like to uh, have it go longer, you can carry additional batteries at roughly four pounds each. Also, you can have a solar power option or wind turbine so that you can become completely self-sufficient. In the two backpack solution, we also include a charger so you carry the charger with you. Also introducing is our new GUI for the control of the radar. So here you'll see on the screen, touch screen, gives you intruder or target information, the speed of the target, which direction it's going, how far it is away from you, and what direction it is from you. So it's very easy to identify threats. You can see that the radar is actually panning and tilting, both in the GUI and of course, looking at the radar as well. It's, we have it in a continuous pan and tilt mode. You can do a complete 360, or you can set any degree that you'd like, or you can have it fixed in one direction. All this is done by touchscreen controls. We can stop the radar, put it in standby. Control radar data, looking at different uh, merits that we can turn on and off. We can change the range. If you're only interested in 3.6 kilometers, it will update the range, or if you want to go farther, 9.8 kilometers. We can set the speed of how fast it pans and tilts. The scan mode, which I mentioned, you can have it either fixed, so it's looking in one direction. You can tell what direction, any way within 360 azimuth, as well as a continuous scan, or an alternate. So you look, stare, and then pan quickly, look, stare. Then, of course, you can calibrate the radar. It has a direct digital magnetic compass in the radar as well as GPS. So it gives you the actual GPS coordinates of the target as well in that long. On this side, you can touch targets, find out what it is about the target you want to look at, it can give you a target classification. You can set up zones. Here we have this red zone. So anytime a target enters into the red zone, it changes from a target to an intruder and alerts you. So we can edit the zone, we can illuminate the zone, I can draw multiple zones, all with this touch screen interface. We can adjust all the parameters of the radar. Same thing, touch screen. You can record tracks and export them. And then a variety of tools as well, changing interfaces and parameters. So we'll set it back on, get it transmitting again. Takes a second and then it starts moving again. All this is done via an ethernet cable connecting to the radar. So we believe that this is the first truly manned portable radar out to six kilometers given its size, weight, and power. And we're glad to introduce it here at Sofic. And for more information, go to www.fleer.com.